What's up my friends? So today we are going to talk about weight fluctuations. So if you have been on a weight loss journey, there is a high chance, I'm going to guess 99.99999% of you have been obsessed with the scale. Today we're going to talk about weight fluctuations, why they happen, and why you should not be obsessed with the scale anymore. So I have actually been here as well. A few years back, this is probably five years ago, I started competing in bikini competitions where everything is weight focused, body image focused. So I was in this place where I just constantly checked the scale. I wanted to talk about this obsession with the scale, not only because I have also struggled with this, but I've started to notice that a few of my clients are also starting to experience this. And I wanted to talk about why you should stop obsessing with the scale and what's actually going on so that you can understand if you do check the scale, the weight's a little higher. Here's what's going on. More than likely, you're not gaining fat, but we'll talk a little bit about that as well. So today for science, for you guys and for my clients, I have decided to weigh myself nearly every hour to show what happens with the scale. There's a lot going on internally that you may not be aware of. So some of the things that can cause a jump in the scale or the fluctuations in a scale that are completely normal and part of our everyday lives are eating food, drinking water, consuming alcohol, consuming too much or too little sodium, consuming too much or too little fiber, digestive issues, high carb intakes. And outside of those, there are a bunch of other reasons why you may gain or lose weight on the scale, but not fat. So just because the weight goes up or goes down, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are losing or gaining fat. This is why I'm not a huge fan of the keto diet for the general person, because what causes water weight? Carbohydrates. But what also do you need in your diet for survival and for energy? Carbohydrates. That being said, I'm not going to completely shit on the keto diet. There are benefits to it, but that's a different topic for another day because I'm not trying to piss everyone off today. So. <laughs> so just keep that in mind though, in general, just because the weight is going up or down does not mean you are losing fat or gaining fat. I think when people see the scale, when they see the jumps in the scale, they're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gaining fat. Oh my gosh, I'm losing fat, but that's not the case. And like I said, very similar to what happens in the keto diet. So for science and for you guys today, I have decided to weigh myself every hour and show you the results. I also have a scale that tells body fat percentages. So I went ahead and included my body fat percentages in here as well, just so you guys could see that the body fat doesn't really fluctuate too much. The weight might fluctuate, but the body fat isn't going to fluctuate as much. That being said, this is a whole other subject. Body fat does fluctuate too. So that is something else we'll get into later on. First thing in the morning, I weighed myself at 8.44 AM. This was just immediately waking up. I didn't use the restroom yet. Okay, so I am super dehydrated this morning, but I am gonna go ahead and use the restroom. Usually when coaches tell clients to do their morning weigh-ins, it is after they use the restroom. So even though I don't really have to go, I'm gonna go so that I can show you the difference it makes even when you don't have to. And this is going to be immediately after doing the first weigh-in. I weighed in at 151.6 and this was at 8.51 in the morning. And then at 10.51, I weighed myself again. I weighed 150.2 pounds. So I lost a whole pound um, within two hours. Body fat was still the same. And this was after my 10,000 step walk. And then at 1.25 p.m., this is when I had my first meal of the day. I do intermittent fasting just as a side note. So I don't usually eat until I get hungry and I weighed in at 152.8 because I ate food you can expect the scale to go up it shows my body fat is 20.8 percent this isn't a huge fluctuation this is relatively normal because your body stores energy and uses stored energy periodically throughout the day so like I said body fat does fluctuate but not as much so my body fat did go up a little bit but only like by 0.4 so that's not really anything crazy that's normal and it's nothing to be worried about because your body will also use that stored energy later when you're not eating and when your body needs that energy which is why we have body fat in the first place because it's 
energy when your body doesn't have energy from food immediately. So body fat is not always a bad thing. So then 10 minutes later, I ended up using the restroom. This was at 1.35 p.m. And I weighed in at 151.2. So I immediately lost a whole other pound after using the restroom. And body fat was about the same. And then at 4.33 p.m., I took a small break between clients and my body fat was 150.4. So that is another pound lost after my previous weigh-in. So now I have lost two pounds. And then my next weigh-in was at 6.41 p.m. I weighed in at 150.4 again, and my body fat was the same. Um, and this was again after sitting all day for client sessions, and I had a snack in between um, that point in my last weigh-in. So in between 4.30 and 6.41, I had another snack. And then at 8.15, I weighed myself again, and this was my lowest weigh-in in my last weigh-in, and my weigh-in was 149. My body fat was 20.3%. This was also after another walk. I did another 8,000 steps this day. So that's that. So the starting body fat that day was 20.6 and the ending body fat that day was 20.3. My starting weigh-in that day was 151 and my ending weigh-in was 149.6. So as you guys can see, my weight fluctuated from 153 to 149 within a single day, that is almost a five pound weight fluctuation. And that is completely normal. That being said, if you do have a higher sodium diet, higher carbohydrate diet, you're gonna see more weight fluctuations. So something important to understand is that the scale is not the end all be all in your progress. It is a great way to measure your progress, but over a longer period of time, weighing yourself every other hour or every hour in a day is not useful or beneficial for your mental health or your physical health. There is nothing that is going to change within a day. It's over a period of a week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, two months, three months. So it takes time to make progress. But I hope this does help you get a better idea as to why this is happening. So a better way for you guys to measure your progress is paying attention to your body fat percentage, not just the number on the scale because the number on the scale is not the end all be all and it is not gonna tell you everything. Um, like you guys saw, my body fat did not fluctuate that much but my weight on the scale fluctuated about five pounds within a single day and i eat a relatively healthy low sodium diet so my weight does not even fluctuate that much but that's important for you guys to understand and if you do want to check out the scale i'll leave the amazon link and their website link down in the description below if you guys want to purchase it it is something that i've been using and i have been loving and they actually sent this product to me for free but i have been obsessed with it so i definitely 10 out of 10 recommend it and if you do use the scale it does help me out i think i get like a couple bucks from the purchase if you guys do make a purchase and it's also linked to bluetooth so there's an app that you can use where everything that i showed on the screen you guys will also see when you use the scale as well so i hope this video was helpful for you guys because i know that a lot of people have been struggling with the scale. I know a lot of people right now, it's summertime, even though we're in quarantine, there's not much we can do, but a lot of people have been trying to work on weight loss or fat loss, and a lot of people start to become obsessed with the scale during this time. So I just wanna remind you guys, do not become obsessed with the scale. It is not everything. Body fat is a much more important metric or number to pay attention to. It's okay to check the scale and use it as progress, but if you find that you're becoming too obsessed with it, just remember, that weight fluctuation is normal and healthy. And if you were not fluctuating in your weight, you would not be human <laughs> because all humans see their weight fluctuate. But on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.